Hello, hello, hello. Kenny Evans here. Ah, got another car video. The title of this video is Insecure Game in Dating. So, uh, before we get started, you know, I want to remind y'all, especially y'all have been here for a while, subscribe, you know, or even if you're new, subscribe. And hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. As well as uh, hit that like button. Whether you like my videos or you just want to support, I appreciate it. <laughs> but yes, welcome. You know, um, but yeah, let's get started. So, insecure game in dating. This is a pretty important talk because a lot of guys, most guys run off insecure game. You know what I mean? They're so worried about what a woman's doing or what she's done. You know what I mean? Um, and they don't focus on themselves. As Steve the Dean likes to say, the game ain't about a woman. It's about you. You know what I mean? And what you want. And you find women who, who fit within your game. You know what I mean? So... Insecure game is the exact opposite. You put it all about the woman. You know, you do what you got to do to get that woman. You know, so that's the problem. That's where we at right now um, in our society and really in the world. Well, I just say American society. You know, I can't really speak for the rest of the world, but, you know, that's the problem. That's why I got to be uh, making videos like this. But, of course, I'm going to give you all. Five ways to tell whether you or somebody you know are running insecure game. Now I'm going to give y'all a bonus one too. Very simple, but it's a bonus. So technically six ways to tell somebody is either you or somebody you know running insecure game. Of course, the first one is you are nice just to please women. Yeah, we, we've all seen it. Some of us, a lot of us have experienced it. Being nice just to please women. And that is because you believe who you are is not enough and she won't like you. You know what I mean? So you got to be nice because you're in hopes you, uh, you know, get in her favor and her liking you. You know, and of course, that shows insecurity. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, so I think that was pretty, pretty self-explanatory um, because if you are who you are, and she likes you, cool. But if she doesn't, cool. I mean, she's not for you. Having that abundant mindset, realizing you'll find other women. You know what I mean? So that is the first way to tell somebody you're on an insecure game. Second, if you are doing things for women that are not in your best interest. You know, maybe you, you plan on going to just a little simple date with the woman. But she said, oh, man, I don't really feel like, well, maybe you want to go to the park. She's, oh, man, I don't really feel like going to the park. Let's go to, you know, Red Lobster. And I mean, something way out of your budget. And you know you got rent coming up. But because you like this girl, you're like, oh, man, let me bite that bullet. And you just go out and go to the Red Lobster knowing you're not going to be able to pay your rent. <laughs> it's a little extreme, but some guys do that. Some guys do that. You know what I mean? They'll spend their last dollar on a woman they really like just because she look good and she want to go on a date with them. You know what I mean? So that is a huge sign of insecure game. You know, or you put up with a woman's disrespect um, just because she look good. Huge sign of insecure game. Huge sign that you're you know, uh, putting up with her, her stuff, and you're doing what, something for a woman, even though it's against your best interest. <laughs> oh, bam, excuse me. Oh, yes, number three. You worried about a woman's body count. The main reason you don't worry about a woman's body count is because it had nothing to do with you. You weren't in a relationship with a woman, and it had nothing to do with you. Ultimately, you're going to worry about how the woman treats you. That's all that's important. It don't matter how many guys she has sex with or a woman. 
all that stuff doesn't matter. It's all about how she treats you. But if you're going to worry about um, her body count, first you're putting sex on a pedestal and you're putting her on a pedestal. You know what I mean? So those are two things you don't want to do because now you're making it about the woman and you're not seeing how she can benefit your life. You know what I mean? So definitely something you got to stop doing if you're doing it. Or if somebody you know is doing it, tell them to stop doing it because tell them they are running insecure game. You know what I mean? So, number four. When you are worried about looks, money, status because of women. Very common thing. You know, a lot of guys talk about you got to get your looks, money, status up. You got to worry about your bread. You got to worry about your status. You got to worry about your looks, looks, maxing, all this stuff. That's insecure game. Because again, it doesn't matter what the woman wants. So you shouldn't be doing things for a woman because then you're putting her on a pedestal. It's all about you and what you want and where you at. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know, I did a video about that. Looks, money, status. At the end of the day, if you're getting your looks, money, status up for you, cool. Because it's all about what you want. It's all about making your life better. But you shouldn't be doing it for a woman. You know what I mean? Because she is not adding value for you to want to do stuff for her like that. You know? So definitely, don't be doing stuff for a woman like that. Until even that, 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 all that's all for you. You know what I mean? So when it comes to look money status, only do that for you, not because of women. Because then you're putting a woman on a pedestal. We don't want to be doing that. You know? But last but not least, when you're worrying about what a woman is doing with another man, you run an insecure game. You worrying about what out of one another a woman is doing with another man. You are running insecure game. And I, mean, I know a lot of y'all felt that. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all felt that in the heart. <laughs> because that's all about, you know, her dating path history, you know, body count, you know what I mean? Or even a guy who you you see her with. You worried about what another woman is doing with another man, a, a woman is doing with another man. That is insecure game at its finest. You know what I mean? So, obviously, again, it depends on, you should worry about when it comes to a woman, how is she benefiting you or not? If she is not benefiting you, you let her go. If she is, keep her around. Let her have as many men as she wants. As long as she's benefiting you, that is all that matters. It don't matter what other stuff she's doing with other dudes. That's insecure. Insecurity. You know what I mean? But again, that's a lot of things a lot of guys do in our American society. They worried about what another man is doing with the, the woman they like and they hold it against the woman. You know what I mean? Not even keeping in mind all the good stuff she could have done for them. You know? That is insecure game. You know, but here, I have the bonus for you guys. You know, the bonus way of telling if a, uh, if you or somebody you know is running insecure game is, do you lie to women? I know it's so simple. <laughs> it's so simple. You know, but if you're lying to a woman, again, you're putting the woman on the pedestal and you are not accepting yourself or your reality as it is. So you have to fabricate it to a woman because you want her to like you or you want her to be happy. You know what I mean? Or to think you're this kind of nice person. You know, so lying to a woman. Uh, deceiving them, you know, making them think, oh, well, you just want to be a friend, but really you want to sex or, you know, um, that you are willing to wait, even though you really don't want to, 
and you're going to do whatever you got to do, say what you got to say in order to get something from the girl. And then you're going to bounce. You know what I mean? I mean, all that stuff is just weak. All this weak, weak game is the insecure game. It's almost synonymous. They're pretty much synonymous. Weak, weak men have insecure game, which makes their game weak. So, and that's all I got for y'all here today. Let me know whether you agree with uh, what I said or whether you don't. Let me know if I missed some uh, some other ways of telling whether somebody's running uh, insecure game or not. You know, uh, let me know whether you think what that the stuff I said was insecure game or not. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, you know, share the videos if you find value, if you feel there's other people who can find value in the in this video. Um, of course, I appreciate all donations. Every little bit counts. You know, it's all about y'all. And that's what this channel is all about. It's all about y'all. You know what I mean? And um, I want to be able to uh, make what y'all like. So let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. So this channel isn't just about dating, and I know that's the main thing I've been talking about, but it's also about uh, making money in your health as well. You know what I mean? I'm going to start doing some other uh, videos on stuff like that too as well. Um, but yeah, just let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. You know what I mean? So uh, until next week, y'all stay safe. You know, and always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.